going to be very interesting to see what happens in the next couple of years regarding Ukraine and what information, if uh, an investigative journalist is going to leak regarding how the funds have been appropriated, if you will. We all know that the significant, overwhelming majority of the money that is being given to this effort is most more than likely not going where it belongs. Uh, and so eventually, will there be another Julian Assange who's going to step up and release this information? Not at this rate, you know. But something I wanted to touch on, though, is is one of the ways that that it's almost like they get away with it. Reminds me of the whole concept of othering when you sort of put somebody down so then it justifies treating somebody in a different manner. This whole concept of people saying that Julian Assange is not a journalist and so therefore he is not entitled to those protections. And I actually, it doesn't matter to me one way or the other. I think he is, but it, that's irrelevant to me from the standpoint of people are not understanding that the freedom of the press is much more important of our right to have that information and get that information than what the distinguishing characteristics are of the person disseminating that information. Like, I, I just don't think people grasp the importance of, of what that is, that they're, they're like arguing, they're nitpicking over something that really is irrelevant from the standpoint of our right to that information. Yeah, I, I don't disagree with you, but I will state that my point of view is that Julian Assange is a journalist and that's something to fight over because the fact that the US government won't label him a journalist, they're doing that deliberately so that it's harder yeah. for him to defend himself in a court because they know if he was viewed as a journalist, that they couldn't bring this case. And they've done a lot to coat the case with this veneer of Julian Assange as a malicious actor, someone who engages in hacking. And they, they know that they have to put that gloss on this indictment or else they wouldn't be able to get away with what they're doing. And they go above and beyond. They did this in the extradition case, at least the prosecutors from the Crown Prosecution Service did this during the extradition trial. They would keep making this point that, oh, no, he's not being criminalized for just publishing information. And you say, well, that can't be true. I read the indictment. That's what it's all about. It's about publishing these files. They wouldn't be bringing this case if they weren't upset about him publishing. That's what it says in the indictment. It says, no. No, we're upset that these particular documents that are charged exposed informants and people who were working with the government and, and all of this. And they're trying to basically like have their cake and eat it too, to use that cliche, because like, no, you're you're upset that this information was published and what it did to reflect poorly and bring embarrassment to the U.S. government. And you found this clever way that you could try to make it seem like you're just, oh no, we're coming after him because he was reckless and he didn't take care of the documents and try and make sure that people weren't hurt. Well, you know, as far as we know, nobody was hurt. They haven't produced the name of a single person who was killed or badly injured from the release of these documents. That's all just this game that they play. So I, I do think that, it's worth struggling with people. So that's why the first words in my book are Julian Assange is a journalist, at least when I first start the chapters that describe the sections of, you know, the different aspects of the case. I start off with the first ch chapter that is about the charges and allegations um, saying that Julian Assange is a journalist. And I think you have to struggle even with press freedom organizations that won't recognize it. Because if you just say, it doesn't matter if you think Julian Assange is a journalist. What matters is that he engaged in journalism and yeah. that must be protected. Then I think that you're, 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 you're giving an inch to the uh, U.S. government. And uh, that's the only thing I agree with Mike Pompeo on when he says never give an inch. <laughs> I, think, I think that you should uh, make sure that you – aren't giving them room to delegitimize uh, Julian Assange because what they are doing with this case is to blow a hole in the First Amendment. 
Yeah, I just, what bothers me so much is this idea of some sort of like arbiter as to what is and what is not a journalist. Um, if you're acting in that capacity, you're acting in that capacity because then are we talking about someone has to have certain credentials? Well, what are someone's credentials? Do they have to be like certified? Do you have to be licensed? Do you have to, and, and that to me, it's sort of like, it's a rabbit hole that to me, it's like, yeah, I certainly there are definitely journalists that I respect more than others. But um, once you start doing that, then to me, it becomes arbitrary. So my concept is we should have it be completely arbitrary in the other direction. If somebody is doing something in a journalistic capacity and releasing information that is in the public interest, they deserve the protection of disseminating that as a journalist, whether or not that is what they do permanently as their occupation or not. Like, I yeah. just don't like the idea of determining who is and who isn't that. Yeah, absolutely. I think we're in agreement on that. Yeah. I don't think that anyone, I, I think there's a separate, there's a, there's a different set of rules. There, there are rules for you and me as people who do, do not occupy positions in government. And I don't think we should be saying that uh, people uh, can't be journalists uh, if, if they want to be journalists. But also, like, it means something different. If I say that somebody isn't a journalist, then I'm having a subjective discussion. And usually I think, as I understand it, a lot of people who are upset about journalists who lie, who deceive, who don't publish the truth, who work for the government, who are more concerned about access to power, who don't really practice ethics when it comes to journalism. That's a that's a act of disgust to say, oh, you're not a journalist. You don't actually behave and work like a journalist. But when the government says it, what they're saying is that you don't have rights, that you're not going to have the protections that you could have because to to be a journalist means that you can have global sympathy. You know, like Jamal Khashoggi gets murdered by Saudi Arabia I mean, because the kingdom's involvement. And it's one thing if they murder him, but also think of like the outrage was so much more worse because he had that journalist label that was affixed to him. And so they know what they're doing with Julian Assange. If he isn't a journalist, then they can get away with so much more when it comes to going after what was done. Uh, you know, and all of the contributions that he made to our wealth of knowledge about wars in Afghanistan, Iraq, the conduct of our U.S. diplomats globally, and the lies that we were told about people who were rounded up, the hundreds of people who were taken to this gulag on Cuba and put in military prisons, all of that, and the, the, the very visceral and ugly and revealing video collateral murder that just showed what the war is really like for troops in that is something that they know, you know, they they can't get away with pursuing Julian Assange if they don't deny him the journalist label. Yeah. Thanks for watching. If you want to support our mission to transform politics into service, please like this video, subscribe, follow us on social media, and consider joining our Patreon, where you'll get early access to our interviews as well as other exclusive content. Links are in the description. Peace out.